Sunset Ridge in Illinois provided another great launch point for Joel Hetrick's 2023 ATV title drive. Against hometown track favorite Chad Wienan, Hetrick got away in Moto1, leaving Wienan and the rest to battle it out for second as the number one set sail toward another Moto win. Wienan took second, Hetrick the win, and Bryce Ford a last turn pass on Nick Janusa for third. In Moto2, Hetrick another SSI decals whole shot, but this time Wienan was right behind him. Dane Molander became a victim of the very rough racetrack as battles raged everywhere, including Jeffrey Rastrelli and Brandon Hogue duking it out in the top five. But Hetrick answered the call, pulling away from Wienan at Wienan's home track to take a significant step toward a championship. We're going racing, ATV motocross from Bud's Creek, a track that is a legend for the two-wheel set, very popular track about a half hour from Washington, D.C. Great soil, great elevation change, and great history, but really all on the two-wheel side, not a lot of big ATV races. Adding to the challenge, huge rain on Thursday turned the track into a quagmire. Actually, I should say tracks plural turned the dirt track facility that's also here into an old school TT track to see some familiar faces, Wolf and All Red taking it down, stretching out the old TT machines. And speaking of stretching out, the 88 Live to Ride Foundation, bringing in trainers so people can get warmed up, stretched out, and ready for this event. And that's exactly what the pro riders are doing there. You said you saw Wesley Wolf's number 740 change back into motocross mode. Everybody having some fun over there at the TT and really just soaking up the fact that they finally have an ATV race here at Bud's Creek. And yes, the track is drying out. Let's check in with Bryce Ford. Just super excited to ride this track again. The last time I was here was about 10 years ago on a 50 CVT. Showing up yesterday, the track looked really good. It looked, you know, like it got some good lines, two lines everywhere, uh, some big jumps. So just really looking forward to going into today. You know, I got a podium at sunset and I've been doing really, really good this year and staying really consistent. So looking to keep that going. So yeah, I'm just going to do my best in qualifying today and, and look to do the best I can in the motos and hopefully get back up on the box. Also, almost always on the box is Chad Wienan, who's been recovering all year long from a broken collarbone. Let's check in. Back to Bud's Creek. It's been a uh, long 11 years uh, since we've been here, and it's, it's good to be back. The track's uh, pretty cool. It's fresh. One of my favorites on the, on the circuit that we used to do. And um, last time I was here, we had a, a good, good racing. And uh, man, the elevation here and the dirt is like, it gets rough here, so I really enjoy that. And uh, the weather last night that came in, man, I, it just, it was like a monsoon that rolled through here. And uh, they did a great job with the track. Looks good today. I feel like the starts are gonna be key, of course, but man, uh, just gonna go out there and have fun, enjoy it. Uh, been feeling good on this three week break up, leading up to this. And we're gonna try and see, go out and see if we can put this thing uh, close to that top step. And now we'll show you what it's like when we get out here for the first time, as Chad Wienan says, in 11 years at Bud's Creek with qualifying. And Joel Hetrick always the man to beat in qualifying time. That's been the case for a long, long time. And man, was he fast early on today. Just making that Phoenix Racing Yamaha fly. There's Brandon Hogue on the 26th. Look at that, attacking some of the big jumps here. Big gulp, one of the big uphill triples. And it's really cool how they use the elevation change at this track. You're either jumping up or jumping down all the time. Very rarely is any part of this track flat. As you can see. Nick Janusa on the landing. They're just clipping the end. Here's Max Linquist showing you the off cambers. Kind of like high point track in Pennsylvania that we've been racing for a long, long time, where it's always turning up, down. Kevin Saar, another example on that off camber there to the top of the hill. All red powering to the top. Oh, a little scrub action. And Cody Ford just trying to clear those rollers near the finish line. They're almost designed to not be doubled. Aaron Salinas with the number seven going by. There's Molander. 99, one of the rare Hondas out here, Andrew Shadle out of Connecticut. And Hedrick 
has the top qualifying time over Hogue, Rastrelli, Wienan, and Ford. ATV Motocross on MAV-TV is brought to you by RP Race Performance. By Rocky Mountain ATV MC. And by CST Tires. Back to Bud's Creek here in Maryland, ATV National Motocross. First time in over a decade that we've raced the ATVs here on this legendary racetrack, and we're getting ready to go. Amateur racing always included, Pro-Am class, rider moving up, the next generation of stars. We have a lot of young talent in the Pro Division these days, and they all came through those classes. And here you get a little shot of that TT event that we had going on on the other side. Oh, there's the boss, David Eller. Phoenix Racing here to hang out and watch Joel Hedrick, see if Hedrick can keep his moto win streak alive. Uh, it's been a long time since we've been here, I think 10 or 11 years. Track was looking awesome this weekend. Uh, right when we got here on Thursday, beautiful track. We got some rain uh, Thursday night and then Friday night. But just at this caliber track, we're really excited. It's a fast track, a lot of cool jumps. All in all, it looks like it's going to be an awesome track, and I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go out there and rip it up at this uh, new place. So hopefully... Uh, Try to get another 1-1 one, one finish and stay healthy. Wow, that is wild to see the old clips. Yes, formerly Can-Am used to have a factory team out here, and uh, this team was part of it with Joel Hetrick. Now doing his work on the Yamaha, we've got the Rocky Mountain ATDMC on board with Jeffrey Rastrelli. Revs are up, gates down. And this is carbon copy of our last race in Illinois. Whole shot from the inside for Hetrick. And he's got Ford right behind him. Bryce Ford on the number four, and Rastrelli's got work to do. He's got Allred right in front of him through the rollers. Here is Hedrick already putting his head down and trying to check out. And I cannot believe the condition this track is in after all the rain on Thursday. I mean, it is blue groove, hard pack, dusty. Janusa showing that. He's already got dust covering the front of that camera. And honestly, what happens a lot is they push the dirt off to get the mud until they finally dig down to an area the rain was not able to get to. So you sometimes end up with a harder track, even though there was so much rain. You think you'd make it softer. But they've dealt with rain through the years at this track, and they know how to salvage things. Hedrick, your leader on lap one, already getting away from Ford and the rest of the field. And with speed like that, there's no doubt why. Look at that. So lap one in the books. Wienan has climbed to third. Brandon Hogue in fourth. And that's going to be the pressure point. We have seen battles brewing between Ford and Wienan, often coming down to the last lap. And Brandon Hogue always has speed. You never know if he's going to bring it each weekend. Last year was great. Beginning of this year, struggled a bit by those standards. Seems to be back on pace here and on par. And he is. He is keeping the heat on Chad Wienan at the moment. That is alarming how big a lead Hetrick has early in this moto. And I mentioned in our last race, the sandier conditions at uh, Walnut Creek in Illinois, everybody's landing so hard trying to get that uphill triple. I don't think the sand is necessarily the best for Hetrick. You get him on a track like this, and now you can see him operating at full tilt. Even though he went 1-1 last week, he did not pull away this quickly there. This is unbelievable. And even he has to take a look over his shoulder, I think, wondering, did I really get this far out this early? Battle brewing, Ford. Hogue is challenging Wienan. Wienan takes a look over and moves over to block him on the uphill. So Brandon Hogue is definitely fast today. Wienan cannot get away from him. Joel Hetrick hits the uphill, drops back in. Looking incredible. He has taken it to another level. This was a long time Honda team, but they finally switched to the Yamaha's, a little more modern platform I mentioned it every week. But now they've got that thing dialed in, he is gone. Meanwhile, Ford doing everything he can to hold off Wienan who's stuck because he has Hogue right there putting pressure on. Oh, and a mistake by Ford. There goes Wienan by and Hogue as well. And finally, someone cracked in this big battle at Bud's Creek, and it's not over. Jeffrey Rastrelli about to join the party. 
good racing while Hetrick gets away. You're watching Joel Hetrick put an absolute clinic on in ATV motocross, and look at the battle he has left behind. This is incredible. You've got Chad Wienan, Brandon Hogue, Bryce Ford, Jeffrey Rostrelli, and Hetrick just keeps looking over. He can't find anyone. No one is anywhere near him. He's on a completely different area of the racetrack while this battle continues to roll. Hogue is still there with Wienan for second. And this is what Hogue is capable of. I don't know what happened at the beginning of this season, but boy, is he back. Could he really pass Chad Wienan and take away the number two spot? You don't see that happen very often, but today could be the day. And look at that. Hetrick able to downside the landing of that triple where so many other people are banging off the top. Oh, and a couple of mistakes by Hogue, and that has allowed Wienan to get away. Oh, Zach Harris, he was off the side of the track, and like I said, they, they pile so much mud off to try to get the mud off the side of the track, and sometimes you hit one of those giant mounds, and that's the end of your day, and that might have happened. Meanwhile, Hogue continuing to apply the pressure on Wienan while Hedrick continues to get away up front and make this track his playground. Man, Hogue just will not let the big man go. And you don't see this type of pressure being applied. Hetrick certainly can do it, but otherwise you don't see many. Guys can maybe hold Chad Wienan off, but to stay with him like Hogue has, it just shows you how fast Hogue can truly go. Now Hetrick in the lap traffic. Gets around Salinas in the number seven. Ford and Rostrelli, another classic duel. What I love about these two, you never know who's gonna have the upper hand. As we go to the Rocky Mountain onboard with Rastrelli, one day he'll be the quicker guy, the next time it'll be Ford, and then it'll flip-flop. And it's kind of the veteran now, Rastrelli, against the youngster coming up, and often they're the ones fighting for that third place spot on the podium. But today it's Hogue there, continuing to fight with Wienan. As we drop back downhill. Oh, rough landing there for Hogue, didn't quite get the full clearance on that triple. Now the white flag is out. And Hogue's down to the inside. He's going to make a run for it. And a mistake by Wienan, but it's still not enough. And meanwhile, checkered flag will be in sight as he bounces his way through the rollers. Hedrick, Hogue, and Wienan still fighting, and Hogue has made the pass. Hogue has made the pass here in the final lap on Wienan. You almost never see that. But Brandon Hogue has had this kind of talent, this kind of speed, and he's really put it together in this moto. Checkered flag is out. Joel Hetrick the win. And yeah, celebrate that one, Brandon Hogue. That's a big one when you take down the eight-time champion of the series, even if it is for a second, and even if we still have another moto to go. We get ready for moto two. Riders checking in. Track really getting hard and dry slick at this point. Such a far cry from where we were when we had all that rain on Thursday. Let's go. Bumping and banging off the line. Nick Janusa able to get to the inside and grab the whole shot. So the whole shot streak for Hedrick is over. Wienan is on the inside as well. Wienan going to try to squeeze through on these rollers. Janusa showing clear racetrack out front with the Rocky Mountain on board, and there is Wien, and he has wrestled second place away from Hetrick. Michael Allred coming through in fourth, and this is going to be interesting. Oh, Rastrelli! Wait a minute, I actually believe that might have been the camera coming off and not a crash. The way that camera rolled at the very, very end I mean, you heard the engine, so it made it seem like the machine was flipping. I think we just averted disaster there. Janus is still out front. Yes, Rastrelli is still going. Okay, that wasn't a crash. We've seen a couple of crazy ones this year. Go back to round two at Gatorback. So some wild action with riders. We don't clear all the jumps, and someone else does. There is Rastrelli. He is back in action, so he's okay, but we lost the onboard. Janus is running fine, and look at this. We got a couple of lengths on Wienan and Hetrick right now. And Janusa ran hard and fast like this in our last race for a little while. 
And I'd say this is the closest to a home race for the New Jersey native. Oh, Hedrick is sneaking to the inside, trying to make the pass, bumping wheels with Weenan as we head up top. But if you want to get aggressive, Weenan can ride with the best of them. You start bumping, and the big man, well, he won't let you move him, and he holds on a second. Man, Janusa, more laps led here. And now Weenan getting desperate because he has Hetrick all over him. He's looking for running room. Is there a place to take the lead? He's got it here on the inside of the left. Split lane works to the advantage of the 44. Big moment here for him to try to get away from Hetrick, but because he wasn't able to get that second place finish in Moto 1, Hetrick still could get the overall if he makes this pass on Janusa right here. No, stay with us. ATV Motocross is brought to you by RP Race Performance. By Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. And by CST Tires. Big moments here at Bud's Creek. Chad Weenan has taken the lead. Nick Janusa is still second. And Weenan wants to get away. If it ended like this, Weenan would be today's overall winner with 3 1 scores. Ford and Rastrelli still battling behind them. This is the pressure point. Hedrick needs to make the move, and he does. Quick move through those turning rollers. And now he's in second, but how much do you want to bet that Hedrick is not going to just settle for the overall win today? He's wanting to go for the 1 1 and the statement ride. And he's got some ground to make up. And Hedrick starting to inch up on Weenan. And as far as Janusa is concerned, can he hang with them enough to not let that Ford and Rastrelli battle bridge the gap and get to him? And Brandon Hogue, so spectacular in Moto 1, you see him ninth right now. And Weenan under fire. Hedrick has closed the gap. And the fans loving this action here. A classic Weenan versus Hetrick duel at Bud's Creek. Hetrick right up to the rear tires, the rear grab bar. But Weenan is so good at keeping the machine wide. A little tougher on this track though, because it has some built-in inside-outside looks. They both land that triple together. Hetrick to the inside, hard onto the brakes. Can't make it happen. Oh, so good to see these two who have split, really going back almost a dozen years, the last championships in this sport, fighting it out for the Moto win. Can Weenan hold on to it? Hedrick, a good drive off the takeoff, but it's going to put him on the outside here, but he greases that outside line and retakes the lead. Had it briefly, gets it back. So I thought that inside line on the top of the triple was going to work. It didn't. Then he had to go to the outside, the next corner, and look at Weenan hanging it out, trying to stay with Hedrick now. I think this would be 11 straight moto wins. Oh, Saar with problems off the side of the track. Working on 11 straight moto wins, as I mentioned here, for Hedrick. And they are starting to bridge the gap to Janusa. And here comes Linquist. Hogue has moved up to seventh after the bad start. And Hogue's going to feel this podium got away from him. Hedrick letting it all hang out out front as he tries to put distance between himself and Chad Weenan. And a valiant effort for the eight-time champ to try to get this moto win. But there is no doubt the absolute fastest, the hottest property in this game is the Phoenix Racing Yamaha machine and this rider. Odane Molander having his problems. That's two races in a row where we've seen some mechanical problems on the Suzuki there for Molander. And here comes this battle for third. You knew it was going to happen. Ford was getting closer and closer. Now he's almost right there. And yeah, this is for podium real estate. And Bryce Ford has been on the podium more than he has not this year. So he's gotten used to it. He's got a taste of it. And he's going to make life difficult. Two laps to go, a couple of battles to watch. Not for the lead. Hedrick is just the class of the field again. But you got to watch that podium, and then how far forward can Brandon Hogue get as he tries to salvage this second moto? And 
And there's the Janusa and Ford fight. Janusa, gotta have some local fans here who wanna see him put it on the box in this moto. Hetrick, about a quarter of a lap to go here. And look at the lead he has opened up on Weenan now. Weenan gave it a run for a couple of laps. Janusa, can he hang on to it? And Rastrelli doing everything to get down the inside. Celebration time. Joel Hetrick has the win, and Janusa is going to hold on for third. Well done for the New Jersey native. And Hogue, he got to six, and it's enough for the podium. Let's talk to him. Yeah, man, so pumped on the weekend. Uh, I felt pretty dang good all day. So grateful to be up here. It was a long time coming this year. And yeah, they always feel good. So yeah, let's keep the ball rolling and see if we can do it again uh, in two weeks at Pleasure Valley. Led, led quite a few laps that felt great and uh, felt, felt a more like myself today, just riding, riding clean laps and um, making adjustments to the machine, trying to get a little bit better for me. And uh, had a lot of fun out there. The track was great, especially all that rain that we got last night. But yeah, props to them and uh, excited on our P2 and uh, going to celebrate with our family. Thanks. Just feels really good. I mean, um, you know, I had to come through uh, Nick and Chad for that second moto and we had some good battles and I was able to make it around, clean pass on the outside. and just uh, gapped after that and it just feels awesome to be where I'm at and uh, hopefully keep it going. And we will keep it going right into the CST tires race recap. Moto one, Hetrick down to the inside, a quick hole shot, he was gone. But the real battle watch behind the number one, Brandon Hogue. First, he and Weenan get around, Bryce Ford, he made a mistake, and then Hogue just kept going after the multi-time series champ and overhauled him for second with Hetrick taking the win. Bumping and banging through the first turn of Moto2. It's Nick Janusa to the early lead, but Weenan and Hetrick second and third. And that was interesting. Took a while for Weenan to finally find an opening. He does. Then it was up to Hetrick to match him, and he would do just that. And then exceed him with an outside line pass and pulls away. I believe, again, that's 11 straight Moto wins and an ever growing points lead. Bryce Ford still second in the series, but Chad Weenan starting to move back up on him. So. Good to see Bud's Creek back on tour, but no changes in the running order. Joel Hetrick still on top.